Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will determine the relationships that exist among chords, radii, diameters, and arcs. Before we start, let us review some terminologies that we are going to use in this video. A radius is a segment whose endpoints are the center of the circle and a point on a circle. In this illustration, segment AX is a radius of circle A. A chord is a segment whose endpoints are two points on a circle. Segment MX is a chord of circle A. Perpendicularity refers to the relationship between two lines which meet at a right angle. In this illustration, we may say that NS is perpendicular with MP. Why? Simply because they form a right angle. A bisector refers to a line that divides an angle or segment into two equal parts. In this illustration, we may conclude that PS is a bisector of segment AB simply because PS divides segment AB into two equal parts. That is why AS is congruent to BS. Let us now discuss theorems on radii and chords. The first theorem states that in a circle, two minor arcs are congruent if their corresponding chords are congruent. In this illustration, if segment Rx is congruent with segment NL, then arc Rx is congruent with arc NL. If arc Rx measures 115 degrees and arc NL measures 115 degrees while segment NL measures 24 units, we may conclude that the measure of segment Rx is also 24 units. Let's have our second example. Using the same figure, if arc NL measures 87 degrees, segment RX measures 42 units, and segment NL measures 42 units, the measure of arc RX is also 87 degrees, simply because the measure of arc RX is congruent with the measure of arc NL. The second theorem states that, in a circle, if a radius is perpendicular to a chord, then it bisects the chord and its arc. In this illustration, if segment AP is perpendicular with segment FB, we may conclude that segment FQ is congruent with segment BQ, and arc FP is also congruent with arc PB. In this illustration, arc FP and arc 
PB measures 80 degrees. Since they are congruent and segment AP is perpendicular with segment FB, we may conclude that AP bisects segment FB. If segment FB measures 24 units, therefore, FQ measures 12 units and BQ or QB measures 12 units. In this illustration, arc FP and arc PB measures 110 degrees. Segment FB measures 50 units. Let us identify the measures of segment FQ and segment BQ. Segment FQ measures 25 units and segment BQ also measures 25 units. Simply because segment FQ is congruent with segment QB under the second theorem. The third theorem states that, in a circle, two chords are congruent if they are equidistant from the center. In this illustration, AQ is congruent to AR. Since AQ is congruent to AR, we therefore conclude that segment BP is congruent with segment GE under the third theorem. Let us identify the measure of segment GE in this illustration. Given that AR is congruent with segment AQ because of the indicators and arc BP measures 115 degrees, we therefore conclude that the measure of arc GE is also 115 degrees. Let us try to solve this problem. Segment RM is 10 cm long. How far is segment RM from the center if the radius is 7 cm? Based on the illustration, segment RM measures 10 cm long. And segment RM is bisected by segment AN because AN is perpendicular with RM. Therefore, the measure of segment RQ is equal to 5 cm. And the radius of the circle is given by the measurement 7 cm, just like in the illustration. As you can see, a right triangle was formed in our illustration. And if a right triangle is involved, we are going to use the concept of Pythagorean theorem, wherein the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of its legs. Using the illustration, we may form the formula the square of RA is equal to the square of RQ plus the square of AQ. Substituting the values to the formula form, we will then have 7 squared is equal to 5 squared plus segment AQ squared. Simplifying the exponents, we will then have 49 is equal to 25 plus the square of AQ. By transposition, that is the square of AQ is equal to 49 minus 24 or simply 24. Since we are about to find the measurement of segment AQ, let us get the square root of both sides. And that will be segment AQ is equal to the square root of 24. Let us simplify square root of 24. Square root of 24 is factorable by 4 and 6, and the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Therefore, the measure of segment AQ is equal to 2 times the square root of 6. We may then conclude that segment RM 
is 2 square root of 6 centimeters away from the center of the circle. Let's have another example. RM is 16 centimeters long. How long is the radius of the circle if the distance of RM from the center is 4 centimeters? Let us first illustrate the problem. Based on the given, if RM is 16 centimeters long, we therefore conclude that RQ is 8 centimeters, simply because AN bisects RM because AN is perpendicular with RM. We are asked to find the length of the radius. Segment RM is 4 cm away from the center. So we have RQ, which is equal to 8 cm, and AQ equals 4 cm. So we are going to find the measure or the length of segment AR with the help of the Pythagorean theorem, which is the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of its legs. Using the illustration, we may form the formula square of RA is equal to the square of RQ plus the square of AQ. Substituting the given values to the formula, we will arrive at the square of RA is equal to 8 squared plus 4 squared. Simplifying the exponents, we will then have square of RA is equal to 64 plus 16, which is equal to 80. Squaring both sides of the equation, we will arrive at RA is equal to the square root of 80. 80 is factorable by 16 and 5, and the square root of 16 is equivalent to 4. Therefore, segment RA is equal to 4 square root of 5. That means that the radius is 4 square root of 5 centimeters long. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. In a circle, Two minor arcs are congruent if their corresponding chords are congruent. If a radius is perpendicular to a chord, then it bisects the chord and its arc. Two chords are congruent if they are equidistant from the center. Let us now check your knowledge. Try to solve the following problem. RM is 14 centimeters long. How far is RM from the center if the radius is 9 centimeters? Do not forget to pause this video while you are answering the activity. Let us now discuss your answers. Based from the problem, RM measures 14 centimeters. Since RM is bisected by AN because they are perpendicular, therefore RQ measures 7 centimeters. The measure of the radius is given by 9 centimeters, and we are asked to find the measure of segment AQ or the distance of segment RM from the center of the circle. Using the help of the concept of the Pythagorean theorem, we may form the equation square of RA is equal to the square of RQ plus the square of AQ. Substituting the given values to the formula, we will arrive at 9 squared is equal to 7 squared plus the square of AQ. Simplifying the exponents, that is equal to 81, equals 49 
plus the square of a cube. By transposition, we will arrive at square of a cube is equal to 81 minus 49 or simply 32. Squaring both sides, that is equal to a cube equals square root of 32. The factors of the our radicand is six, are 16 and 2. The square root of 16 is equal to 4. Therefore, segment AQ is equal to 4 square root of 2. We therefore conclude that segment RM is 4 square root of 2 centimeters away from the center of the circle. Thank you for watching Sir Ofnik's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math.